Hey, what's going on? Hey, uh, I just I haven't made a an MMA video in a while. Um, I just watched the weigh-ins yesterday. Holly Holm, Ronda Rousey, Joanna uh, Jetchek. I'm bad at that name, and Valerie Letourneau. Uh, these are these are the two fights I'm interested in. There's some there's some really good fights on this card. We got Bigfoot Silva and Mark Hunt. And that's interesting because it was a draw, but there's just some fights that, that are interesting. But the, the fights, the two fights that are uh, most interesting is the women's fights. Now, why, why are they so interesting? Guys, can Holly Holm pull off the upset? Now, I made a video on this a while back. And when they first, you know, scheduled the fight, I was like, man, what is going on? But... Some time has passed, and just kind of based off the body language, and I don't usually get involved in all this, like, drama and things, but um, it was kind of interesting. Holly Holm, uh, Ronda Rousey called her fake. And I usually don't get into all the drama when this person said this and said that, but I have to say, I did kind of, kind of notice something. Um... Ronda Rousey, how she's call, call, calling her fake, and Holly Holm has been so cool, calm, and collected. I mean, guys, Holly Holm's undefeated in MMA. I mean, this girl straight up has knocked girls out with kicks. And, you know, when she fights, she's like, yeah! And she yells, like this karate fight style when she kicks. And, um, you know, she, she knows John Jones. And she likes John Jones. They're they're kind of like friends. So that kind of tells me, that kind of tells me that maybe her. I don't think it's a fake personality, but I think there's multiple sides, and there's multiple sides to me. I can be a nice guy. I can be like, uh, have a real attitude. You know, you know, depending on the situation. And Holly Holm might might really be, uh, people might be sleeping on Holly Holm in this fight. I mean, and another thing I noticed in the weigh-ins is that I already knew that she was taller and that she was bigger than Ronda Rousey, but guys, she looked noticeably, Holly Holm looked noticeably large, larger than, than Ronda Rousey. And I guess I never really noticed that so much in her fights. Um... It could have been just the, the the girls that she was fighting, and but she you know she crouches down and she's kind of far away from her opponent. So I I don't know, man. I mean, the, basically what I'm saying is these two fights, Valerie Letourneau, she's you know she's in she's got a lot of good kicks. There could be upside upsets here. I mean, I expect Joanna Jajacek to win. I expect Ronda Rousey to win, but there could be upsets here just because of the kicks. Can Holly Holm let the kicks fly? I mean, guys, she don't even have to necessarily do a baseball bat leg kick, knock Ronda Rousey out. She can land a, a big, um, a big head kick. I mean, you're just you're just not going to be the same after that. And the kicking is one thing in women's MMA that it's. I, I really feel like it's not used enough because they're so concerned with wanting to win each round. But man, I tell you what, if I if I was going to this fight and I was Holly Holm, I would not be concerned about winning any rounds. You go in there like you're trying to 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 knock Ronda Rousey out. I mean, this is not going to be no five round fight. And if it for some reason, if it were to make it to five rounds, um. If I was Holly Holm, I wouldn't be worried about it because you're going to be scoring points if you've lasted that long, and just because of her fight style, her striking style, and if you're down in the rounds, I mean, then so be it. But I that is very highly unlikely to happen. However, I I could kind of see that happen. I mean, we've seen that with John Jones, where you know the guy just he destroys people with you know within a few rounds, um, but then all of a sudden. You know, he meets his match, and, and this, I'm not saying that that could be, but if Ronda Rousey is not in shape, if she gets gassed out, if she, for some reason, if she can't get in, you know, and submit 
Holly Holm or knock Holly Holm, I don't think she's going to knock her out. If she can't submit Holly Holm within the first round, and if she tries, if she expends energy, if Holly Holm lands some big kicks, uh, if she's chasing Holly Holm around, guys, she could get gas out and she could get tired. And I tell you what, Holly Holm doing her on the perimeter with her jabs and, and her normal Holly Holm fight style, she's not going to get tired. She's not going to be tired in this fight. Um, and, and you could see, maybe, maybe just possibly, that Ronda Rousey could get, get sluggish and get tired and maybe get picked apart. I mean, we've... Hey, look at Carla Sparza trying to take down, trying to take down uh, uh, Yohan and, just not, and it's just not working. I mean, that's a perfect example of... And then as the takedowns, you stuff the takedowns, you get more and more tired. You know, so basically, I mean, Holly Holm, if she can, if she can last a couple rounds, she does have a good chance in this fight. But I tell you what, man, I think she needs to come out and really keep her distance. You know, try and keep the that clock running. But at the same time, I'd like to see her just just let it fly. You know, just 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 let your legs go, let the kicks go, let the let the punches go. Cause it's like it's like she has to fight perfectly. She's got to she's got to be evasive. She has to be cautious, but at the same time, she's got to let the kicks fly. If she can do that, she probably could beat Ronda Rousey. And I'm gonna say it. And uh, I think Ronda Rousey knows this, cause in, in the way, I mean, she looked a little bit flustered, man. She she looked like you know Holly Holm looked like she was the one that was all cool calm and collected you know and uh but basically in the Valerie Letourneau I'd like to see her the same thing man let the kicks fly even if you lose let the kicks fly let it all out don't be cautious I don't want to see boring fights um you know just relax in there and have a good time I think that if, if Valerie Letourneau does this it increases her uh chances heck I think she could knock Joanna out I really do because I mean when you're trading when you're trading strikes with somebody you always run that risk I mean and she may even be a little bit too cocky I still think Joanna's going to destroy Valerie but um as we all <laughs> expect but I just kind of like to look at what could happen with these two fights and I think these two fights have potential to to really be uh to just really just set it off. And I, I hope the Holly Holm, you know, I hope the Holly Holm fight is exciting because I do think Holly Holm uh, can, 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 she's talented enough to, and fast enough and, and sharp enough with her boxing uh, to avoid getting clinched up with Ronda. But at the same time, man, it would just be awesome if she could just nail that and boom, let, the, let it fly and just, she basically has to put on a flawless performance to win, but can she do it? Um, I'm excited to see, and I'll see you guys later.